But it wasn't just gold teeth. Gold dust started showing up too. It's basically little flecks of gold that show up on random people or Bibles or whatever. Or this guy, Joshua Mills. When he speaks, he literally gets covered in gold dust. An intern told me that when he picked him up from the airport, he didn't have a speck on him. By the time they got to the church, this is what he looked like. One night at a church service where I was filming, Harold and Kay Byer, you'll meet them soon, are called forward to receive prayer. Now, the prayer itself was simply a prayer of blessing. Nothing fancy, just a God loves you and so be blessed kind of thing. While this is happening, they both get knocked out by the power of God. And once they go down, the strangest thing happens. Do you see it? I didn't see it either, until the people around them started pointing. Then I saw it, right there, right where it hadn't been just 30 seconds earlier was a pile of gold dust. The whole scene was pretty amazing, but also kind of weird, because here we are, all witnessing, and it wasn't there a minute ago, and now it is, a miracle, but we're also all craning our necks trying to catch a glimpse of a man's, well, you know. Jeff Jansen, who was the speaker that night, said it was a prophetic sign of reproducing. And while that's probably true, I still think it's proof that God's got a killer sense of humor. So let me introduce these two. This is Harold and Kay Byer, the sweetest Lutheran couple you ever want to meet. For the past 36 years, God's been giving them a gift that they never asked for, but are more than happy to receive. Here's an eyewitness to what happened to them right before I began filming. And they were saying how holy this was. Harold was standing right next to me, and I've been with him before when this happens, and there's like a shift. You just feel this shift in the atmosphere, and it just spontaneously shows up in his hand. And it almost tosses him because he's so overcome by the power of God. So what is it that comes to them, quite literally out of thin air? This. Manna. That's right the same manna God provided the Israelites when they were in the desert for 40 years. It either shows up in Harold's hands or in his Bible, always on the same page. Revelation 2.17 He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. Now I never would have believed this if I hadn't seen it happen, but I did see it happen. Twice. And apparently, this stuff has some incredible healing properties of its own. Which makes sense, seeing as it kept the Israelites healthy for 40 years, and this is pretty much all they ate. 